What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. Today we are checking out the latest mini PC stick from Azuli called the Access 3. So you can find this for just under $200 and um, me personally I'm always amazed by all the things that you can do with a mini PC that can fit in your palm because it's that small. Alright, so this is being powered by the Intel Gemini Lake N4100 processor. This is a quad-core processor and we also have 4 gigs of RAM and you can buy this with either 32 or 64 gigs of internal storage. Now, I have the version that comes with 32 gigs of internal storage and out of that I only have about 11 gigs left. So I do recommend trying to get a version with 64 gigs because having only 10 gigs left is not um, enough in many situations. Now this can also take an SD card so you can expand that um, internal storage and of course you can always um, get like an external hard drive for it as well. I like the fact that the internal storage is actually fast and faster than a lot of other mini PCs that I tried in the past as well. This comes pre-installed with Windows 10 the Pro Edition and this is also an activated copy of Windows and it's basically the same Windows that you see on any PC. So with that you have access to all the Windows updates and of course you have access to the Windows Store and from the Windows Store you can install apps, you can install games and so on. So we should probably start with a very quick unboxing. So this comes in a pretty good looking box, on the front of the box we can see a picture of it and turning the box around we can see some of the specifications. So basically everything that I mentioned earlier. Inside the box we are obviously going to find the PC stick itself, the power adapter for it and this is a 5 volt 3 amp power adapter that connects to the mini PC through a micro USB port on the side. There is also a quick startup guide which you may not necessarily need to read and lastly there is a male to female HDMI cable. Now not everyone will need to use that cable but it really depends on your setup. And we're moving on to the PC stick itself. So as I mentioned earlier this is very small and it can actually fit in your palm and it is entirely made out of plastic. So the top we have a little LED that will either be red or blue depending if the device is on or off. On the right hand side we have the slot for the SD card so just in case you want to expand the internal storage and we also have the Wi-Fi antenna. So this supports um, dual band Wi-Fi so it can connect to the 2.4 and the 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands and I also check the speeds over Wi-Fi and they are um, extremely good as well. Now for connectivity we also have Bluetooth connectivity and that means that you can connect some Bluetooth headphones, Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth keyboard and you can also send um, files over Bluetooth and uh, that works good as well. On the back we have the network adapter port and this is a gigabit port as well and next to that we have the 3.5mm audio jack so you can connect some speakers to this or um, headphones or anything like that because of course we don't have speakers. On the other side we have two USB ports, these are USB 3 ports and of course we have that charging port and the power button. Since we only have two USB ports you will probably need like a USB dongle for it just in case you want to connect like a wired keyboard, a wired mouse and a hard drive for example. But um, there are a lot of um, cheap USB dongles out there. Now if you're planning to connect more than one hard drive I do recommend that you get yourself a powered USB dongle because otherwise this is not going to have enough power for two hard drives but of course it will depend from hard drive to hard drive but always keep that in mind. I imagine that most people will use this to watch some YouTube videos, maybe check their email, browse the internet, maybe some Netflix and some people may actually play some games on it. Now for that you don't need that much power and I decided to start by checking out the benchmark results for it. Now the benchmark results that I got were about 10 to 15% higher than um, other mini PCs that I tried in the past, the Intel N3450. But even that um, processor, the Intel N3450 used to do pretty good for all those tasks that I mentioned earlier. So this one it will only get better. So I watched a bunch of YouTube videos um, with this at um, different resolutions, so 1080p, 2K or 4K and they all seem to work great. Now this mini PC is also capable of um, outputting a 4K signal but unfortunately I don't have a 4K TV or a 4K monitor and I can't really try and um, confirm if that works um, good or not. But I was able to select a 4K resolution and that resolution the video seemed to go on um, good as well. So for YouTube videos you shouldn't have any issues with this mini PC. Since watching YouTube videos is done in the browser, some people may actually browse the internet while watching videos. So you have like a video running in the background playing some music and then you start opening a couple of tabs to read some news. So for example I opened BBC and I started scrolling up or down and I started opening other tabs with other websites and everything seemed to go very well. I mean there was no interruption for the YouTube video that was playing in the background and there was no lag for scrolling up or down through those websites. So very impressed about that. 
In the browser, you can also watch Netflix movies or TV shows. And uh, as we all know, Netflix is very popular and there is also an app available in the Windows Store and that may be a bit easier to use than the browser. However, I did try the browser for Netflix and all the movies and the TV shows that I watched did work very well without any issues. So no lag, no um, buffering or anything like that. So this will do great for Netflix as well. Moving on to Kodi, well, I haven't had any issues with Kodi either, and this was the version that I installed from the Windows Store, and I imagine that a lot of people are still using Kodi, mostly for a device like this that will probably be used for media consumption. Now, the files that I watched on Kodi are 720p files, and I streamed them on online, and there was no lag, there was no buffering, and everything seemed to work good as well. So you shouldn't have any issues with Kodi, but I imagine that if you are streaming something um, at a higher resolution that may become problematic mostly because um, of the internet speed but um, for 720p and 1080p files you should do more than um, okay for Kodi. I also tried a few 4k files that I had saved on a USB stick and um, they did better than I was expecting to be honest. So the first file was a 4k um, file at 60 frames per second and that one works great but you will notice a bit of lag mostly if you are skipping through the video. Uh, after that it recovers, it takes a couple of seconds and then it starts uh, normally again, but um, there is a bit of lag on uh, skipping through videos. The next file was a 4K file at 50 frames per second and I feel that that one did better than the first one and uh, even when um, you'd skip through the video there was no lag, so definitely good uh, for 4K at uh, 50 frames per second. And the last file that uh, I tried was a 4K file at 30 frames per second and that one um, did really good as well. So you could technically watch some 4K files on this as well. Some people may also use this for picture editing because, well, these days everyone edits their pictures for Instagram and Facebook and so on. Now, I didn't use a heavy program like the Lightroom or Photoshop. I used something smaller from um, the Windows Store and with that one it did uh, okay. Not the smoothest experience out there, but definitely acceptable and you can definitely use it. Now, in the past, I did um, do some video editing on a tablet that had the Intel N3450, and that's also possible, but it's a very slow experience, so I don't recommend um, editing any videos on this. But for um, picture editing, it should do fine. And lastly, gaming. Well, gaming is also possible on this PC stick, but um, keep in mind that this is not made for gaming. First of all, it will get fairly hot whenever you are um, playing games. Not necessarily hot enough that it will shut down, but you will definitely feel it hot. Now, the gaming experience, it will depend on the games that you are playing, because if you are playing some heavy games, uh, well, those aren't gonna do good. Well, they aren't actually gonna work at all. But for some lighter games from um, the Windows Store, it will do decent. I mean, the games are kind of playable. You can definitely see some lag and some skipped frames here and there. But um, again, it really depends on your expectations because this is not a gaming machine. So you can still play some games on it, but um, don't expect that much from it. And it's time to conclude this video. So for light usage, this will do great. If you're just watching YouTube videos, you're using Word, um, you're editing a couple of pictures, you're watching Netflix and stuff like that, this will do great. But if you're hoping to play games on this or do some video editing, it will not be great for that. But for light usage, this will be more than enough for most people. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.